Well, parts of northern Indiana are showing an increased risk of coronavirus spread. That's according to this new map from the State Department of Health. It has uh, four of five counties bordering Michigan in orange there. You can see most of the state is in the blue or yellow advisory level. Jefferson County near the Kentucky border is also in the orange advisory level. The State Department of Health is putting pressure on Hoosiers now to get vaccinated. The state's latest data shows an increase in hospitalizations and COVID-19 variant cases. News 8's Demi Johnson reports how health officials are trying to make getting the shot more convenient. State Health Commissioner Dr. Chris Fox says there's still a large population of people who are either anti-vaccine or just don't think they need it. With some data trending in the wrong direction, Dr. Box says reaching those people is more important than ever. We have lots of work to do here in Indiana, specifically when it comes to the state's vaccination rate. 33.1% of Hoosiers are vaccinated, but state health officials say that number needs to at least double before they start to feel safe. You know, when we look at influenza, and I know we've said this before, when we hit on a vaccine in a good year, we've got 40 to 60 percent coverage. You know, this vaccine is 94 percent effective at preventing infection and 99 percent effective at preventing hospitalizations and death. So my number is as close to 100 percent as I can get. To combat some of the hesitancy, Dr. Chris Bach says all mass vaccination sites will now offer Pfizer, Moderna and Johnson and Johnson. Bach says the virus is still very much in Indiana. She says the number of people hospitalized has increased by 50 percent and the number of daily admissions has doubled since late March. Additionally, 1,100 Hoosiers have tested positive for COVID-19 variant. With those cases on the rise, Bach is worried for the unvaccinated population. You know, when we first started talking about the B117 variant, we said it's v much more transmissible, you know, 1.5 times more transmissible, um, so easier to get um, infect other individuals. We didn't really think that there was an increased severity of cases, but really the studies are showing that there probably is an increased severity in those cases. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Lindsay Weaver says the state has stepped up campaigns and is even working to bring doses to places where people feel most comfortable, like churches or community centers. But Weaver says some Sometimes word of mouth works just as well. I know people at, you know, small dinner parties that have convinced other people at the dinner parties to go ahead and sign up and get vaccinated. So um, it, honestly, at this point, it's whatever it takes. So we're trying to do everything we can and we're working with partners to figure out, you know, what can they also do to help increase our vaccination rates. Health officials say they've also heard some people are waiting until they can get the vaccine from their primary care doctor. The state is in the process of working with those doctors to make that happen. Right now, the biggest obstacle is inadequate storage in smaller doctors' offices. Reporting from the State House, Demi Johnson, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Demi, thank you. IPS is hosting a COVID-19 vaccination clinic this Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., happening at the Arsenal Tech High School West Gym. The clinic is open to students, staff, and families age 16 and older. The second shot will be scheduled for May 22nd at the same location. Today, the school district held an immunization clinic at Arlington Middle School. The clinics are part of a partnership between IPS, the Indiana Immunization Coalition, and Managed Health Services. Three more clinics are planned. The next is tomorrow at Howe High School from 3.30 to 6.30. Getting help with registering for your vaccination tomorrow in Marion County. The Public Health Department is setting up a help desk at the John Bonner Neighborhood Center from 10 a.m. to noon. And again from 6 to 8 p.m. You can sign up for a vaccine appointment, ask questions about the vaccine, get Spanish language help and information as well. Uh, join us Thursday at 6 o'clock for News 8 special Vaccine Central Town Hall. We'll have experts join us in studio for an in-depth conversation focusing on vaccines, mental health, and planning summer activities and travel. That's Thursday, 6 o'clock, right here on WISH-TV.